What's going on guys and gals? Uh, this is a, a post edit thing. Like I've already got the video uh, recorded and I'm in the process of editing it soon. Um, but before I do, I wanna make sure, I, I wanna get something that I forgot to say and do at the very beginning of, the beginning of this video because um, this is Mortal Kombat's 30th anniversary. You know, 30 years of Mortal Kombat. And I feel like you have to fucking do this at least one time if you're playing any kind of Mortal Kombat game. So you know how in, in those commercials there is a kid, you know, yelling Mortal Kombat at the top of his fucking lungs? Well, I feel like, and, and to honor a tradition of Mortal Kombat being 30, well, not really a tradition, dip, 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 stupid. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I, I think, personally, we, as a whole, and I'm gonna get every single, I, I'm gonna get every one of you people out there involved. So I, what I want you guys and gals to do, is when I uh, count down, or count down from three to zero, so three, two, one, zero, that sort of thing. Um, I want you to yell as loud as you can. Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I ain't fucking around here. So let's do it. Three, two, one, zero. Mortal Kombat. There. Now that I've done that, and, and I'm, I wonder if any of you guys out there have also done that. I hope you did, because that would be fucking awesome. Um, but, yeah, now that I've done that, let the actual video begin. Everything is falling! God damn it! Oh. What's going on, guys and gals? My name is Neko Fluttershy. Welcome to a video. So, uh, Mortal Kombat just came out with their 30th anniversary. Yes, 30 years of fucking fatalities and beating the shit out of each other. So, I figured, you know, what better way to do it than to play some Mortal Kombat video games on uh, the PS2. And, you know, these would have been the games that I grew up with. And I grew up with at least two of these games. Not really all of the games you're going to see, but I grew up with, like... <laughs> Like, multiple, uh, of the games. Now, am I going to play some of the other ones, like PS4? Maybe. Uh, m maybe later on, like, in a separate video. But, I think I've already done videos based on that before. So, yeah. Now, the first game is... Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, released back in 2002. This game is fucking 20 years old. Yes, you heard that right. 20 years old. Mortal Kombat came out in 92, you know, 1992. Uh, and now, it's still going strong. Now, it used to be under a company called Midway, right? They used to make its game called Mortal Kombat. Well, they basically changed, they got either bought out or they changed the name, and it turned into NetherRealm Studios, which is, I guess, a Warner Brother property when it comes to video games. So, Round one. you get Fight. shit like this. <laughs> Yeah, you get shit like that. That's absolutely awesome. Now, I have a fucked up version here. Uh, because emulation isn't perfect, apparently. So... Alright. I'm pressing the L1 button, right? I don't know if you can... Okay, hold on, let me see. I'm gonna change the uh, options for audio. Alright, 
So, uh, basically, this version of the game is fucked up. And by fucked up, I of course mean completely fucked up. And basically, you cannot access certain things. The crypt. Oh, you need a profile. Well, check this out. I'm pressing the L1 button as instructed. The L1 button does not work. Like, at all, in this game. Like, at all. But, I think I may have found a workaround, hopefully. Check this out. Alright, so we're going from a North American release <laughs> to a, uh, I think a Europe, yeah, a European one, right? So I'm gonna go 50, because I don't care. Uh, as long as it works fine with the L1 button, because that, that's a pretty good functional button right here, you know? I mean, it works in other games, but this one, for some reason, they broke the L1 button when you're playing Mortal Kombat. So I have to basically use a European version sometimes, because sometimes the European version of these games work better than the North American version, for whatever reason. Don't ask me that question, why? Because I have no answer. <laughs> I'm an idiot, <laughs> but uh... Okay, no problem. So, fingers crossed the L1 button fucking works here, okay? So, uh... I have to redo everything because it's a different version of the game. Yeah, you'd think, oh yeah, well this game has save data, right? Uh, but no, it ha it's different save data for different regions. If this game came out in Japan, so it might have, I don't know, that version would be different than the PAL and the North American releases. The NT... XXXXX. Okay, now let me, let me tell you something. This is a fucked up thing, and I honestly don't know why they did it for a while. But on the uh, GameCube, PS2, Xbox, and even you know, as as uh, early as Armageddon on the Wii, or as late as Armageddon on the Wii, they had this where you have to enter a password every single time. And if you have a convoluted password that even you don't know, you're fucked. That means. That not only do you have to have save data for the game, you also have to have your password figured out. So you gotta write that shit down. And I don't know why. I mean, I wouldn't mind if someone was using my particular profile. I mean, it's more of fucking combat, okay? If anything, they're helping me out by getting me coins and things like that. So I wouldn't really care. So... Yeah. It's weird. It's very weird that they even did that. So I thought it was kind of a stupid thing to begin with. Like, why? So I always do the simple XXXXXX, or on the, the GameCube and Wii, the AAAAAA. Basically, I, something that even I can remember, okay? Because if I do, like, up square, L2, triangle, whatever the fuck, I'm gonna forget that in like two seconds after I put it in. So, yeah, I'm not gonna fucking remember that. But I will remember a simple just spamming the same button. Cause that's, that's what you're doing in these fighting games anyway. You spam the same button over and over again. Hoping to get somewhere uh, out of it. Now, it better work. It doesn't work. <laughs> Damn it, you piece of shit! Which means I can't do that. Ah, I love this song. But yeah, so you had things like... You know, these awesome things... Where... Um... Basically... I, I miss these older things where you'd basically go 
and see how the games were created, as well as kind of the life within the studios of Midway or NetherRealm or whatever the case may be. I, I, I loved looking at these things and like, oh yeah, here's how this game came out. Here's what happens when, you know, whatever happens, so... Yeah, basically they, they take a look at things like that. Very nice car. A typical day in Mortal Kombat starts with me trying to get in as early as possible. Most of the other guys in the team work late into the night. And in the morning I can get a few uninterrupted hours to program in the characters' moves and plan things out for the rest of the day. Well, he takes his hat off, basically throws it, sticks in the other guy's face. And then he kind of staggers it for a little while, falls back on his back, plays there twitching. And Kung Lao comes there and he lifts his foot up, steps on the guy's stomach, the hat flies up, he grabs it and goes into like a cool pose. Then starting at about 9 or 10, most of the others start pouring in. And from that point on, the insanity begins. Hello, oh, Steve. Hey. What's going on? Oh, that was cool. So yeah, I mean, you get to learn a little bit about how these games were made, and I love that. I love learning about that kind of shit, so... Yeah. But, um, I guess for some reason Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance does not work well. Uh, so you know what? Fuck the crypt. We're not doing the crypt. I don't care about that. I'm just gonna be playing actual Mortal Kombat. Scorpion. I'm the Scorpion. Cause I think everybody wants to be Scorpion. Now, I will say this, uh, Mortal Kombat was my fucking childhood right there. I, I grew up with this game to an extent. Round one. Fight! No! Oh, really? Oh, you want to this? You want to this? Oh, oh, you want to this? You want to that? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh yeah! Scorpion wins. Scorpion wins. Round two. Fight! <laughs> Oh no! No, the L1 button is the one that kills the move set. Ow! Moves list. Does this one have the fatality? Any fatality at all? Oh God! Look at how many buttons use fucking. <laughs> how many moves use the L1 button? I ain't doing any of those right now. I can't even change to the, the Pigua. Again, some more L1s. The Ninja Sword. Well, even if I could get to that one, I would still be able to use it, I think. Special moves. I can still do the get over here. Summon Hellfire, backflip kick. But it doesn't tell you fatalities. This this wasn't the era when they would. Um, they did that, I think, around Mortal Kombat 9 slash Complete Edition. Because Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe, I don't remember having fatalities where you could just look it up in-game. You still, I think, have to look it up in a guide or something like that. Or just figure it out yourself without a guide. But <laughs> that was a pain in the ass. Uh, and I, I I, did that. I was like, okay, uh, what button combinations would cause Scorpion to do a fatality? Well, I never could figure it out without the help of the internet. Or some uh, cheat code book that would tell me, oh, to do this fatality, you press this combination of buttons and you have to be close to your opponent not far because far will do something completely different 
it's a pain in the ass. It really is. And I, <laughs> I'm glad that they brought, you know, brought it to a point where uh, nine complete edition, same game, really just. You know, complete edition being the well, complete edition uh, X slash slash ten uh, XL and eleven and eleven ultimate. You know, all of those had access to cheat codes, basically right off the get go. If you wanted to perform a fatality, there you go. So I'm just gonna spear her because everybody loves to get over here. Get over here. So you won't get to see me do fatalities here. Um, Movado. I think he was a forgotten character. Like a lot of the people in Deadly Alliance and Deception and Armageddon, I think were forgotten characters. Fight! And they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Scorpion, what the hell did you just do? <laughs> oh! I kind of wish that they had a, a different way to change your weapons Round or your fighting two. style. Fight. <laughs> Now, here's the thing about you know Mortal Kombat uh, in this era is even if you don't have a profile, you can still play it, which is fine. Round. But you get nothing out of it. Like it, it doesn't save the fact. Oh, well, you perform a fatality on this guy, doesn't you? You killed this guy. You did this. You did that. It doesn't give you coins that you need for the crypt because you can't even access the crypt. Um, which that's that sucks about not having the L1 button work in a fighting game, and where you have to have that button as you know to to sign into your profile here, which I have always again I thought was stupid. Even when I was a kid, first playing Mortal Kombat, I was like. I don't know, three or four, I think. Probably two. But no, I was playing Double May Cry and Max Payne when I was two. And then I played, um, probably three or four when I got the GameCube. I played some Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance uh, at the time. And kind of an interesting story, I'll tell you after uh, I get to the next game, which will be in a few seconds. Um, but yeah. You know, I have an interesting story. So, yeah. Uh, Johnny Cage, you will be spared. <laughs> for now. Uh, practice, conquest, all that good shit. So, yeah. Next Mortal Kombat game. Alright, so here's, here's a little uh, hilarious story. So, when I was younger, um, like, I was a stupid fucking kid. Like, you have no idea how stupid I was. So, when I was younger, I would go to school, right? You know, kindergarten, first grade, around that time. And I would kind of act out the uh, moves from Mortal Kombat and uh, Buffy and other games that I used to play as a kid. 
And uh, long story short, I guess nobody liked it. Because <laughs> um, I actually had those games taken away from me for the longest ass time. Even games like fucking Super Smash Brothers, man. Let me tell you something. Most people, they grew up with, with, with Melee on the GameCube. Um, I did for a little bit, and then I couldn't play Melee for a little bit because apparently, for some reason, seeing Mario beating the shit out of Pikachu was too violent. And, and it was on, on, on par and on course with the same violence as, you know, seeing someone get their, their fucking head ripped off and shoved up their ass or something like that. Like you see in Mortal Kombat, blood everywhere, gore everywhere. And then, you know, with Buffy sticking vampires and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Now, I guess I kind of understood, only kind of. Like, I, I sort of understood. It's like, oh, okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But it took me almost a decade at that point, almost like, well, probably a little bit less than that, like, I don't know, seven or eight years, maybe, until I was able to play those games again. Now, did I play them as a kid? Yeah, obviously. You, you, know, you, can't, you can't fucking keep me from playing a fucking Mortal Kombat game, okay? I played Mortal Kombat. I played, you know, Smash Brothers. I played other games. Um, I'm like, ha, yeah, I play worse than you think, bitch. <laughs> and I actually played games like uh, Devil May Cry and Max Payne, which I thought, uh, here's the weird thing. So apparently uh, Mortal Kombat, Buffy, and, and uh, Smash Brothers got taken away from me, right? But games like Devil May Cry and Max Payne were totally cool. Yeah, you, you could go and kill demons as a, a, a fucking white-haired badass, you know, as Dante is. Oh, you could be Max Payne, who goes around killing people to avenge his family's death, you know, his, his child and his wife, and, and, and take, you know, basically take over and destroy, single-handedly destroy uh, organized crime and all that good shit. And I'm like, okay, that totally makes fucking sense, somehow, <laughs> even though it didn't really make any sense at all. It, it was weird, because I'm like, oh, I can't play Mortal Kombat, but I can play this game that I, I think is kind of more violent, not... you know, way more violent. Alright, now, okay. Jeez, that was pretty fucking loud. Why are you loud? Why are you loud? Why are you not being loud? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck. Stop fucking. God, fuck. Fuck you. The environment. Alright, now this game, I don't have a lot of memories of. I remember wanting this game for a, a long ass time. And by a long ass time, I of course mean a long ass time. I'm just gonna lower everything again, because I swear that was a lot of loudness. That was like way too loud, I would say. Like, uh, I don't know, this is a pretty fucking loud ass game. It wasn't even at full volume. <laughs> so imagine full volume with my headset turned all the way up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I never grew up with this game. It wasn't until a little bit later on um, when I finally got this game. I remember wanting this game for so fucking long. I mean, after playing Deadly Alliance and playing Armageddon, I'm over here just like, okay, shit's falling. Okay, stop falling, you piece of shit. Anyways, so after playing Deadly Alliance and Armageddon and completely skipping over Deception, which is what this game is, 
Um, yeah, here the L1 button works totally fine. Um, and so it uh, it does as well in uh, Armageddon, but for some reason Deadly Alliance just doesn't want to work. So that's fine. I don't care. I have the game physically on my GameCube, so if I really want to play Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, I'll just play it on, on the GameCube. Um, no problem. Or my Wii. I have ways. Um, but yeah, I completely skipped over Deception, and this is not the good version of Deception. And by good, I mean the proper way to play it. Now, most people are like, oh, but it's on PS2, and you got the Xbox version. Well, that might be, but take a look at who is not on the roster. That's right. There are two people missing from this and any other version of this game. That is not the GameCube version. And that would be uh, Shao Kahn and Goro. Because apparently uh, Deception on the GameCube took a little bit longer to come out than it did on the other platforms. And as a way to basically make up for that and to apologize, you know, Midway, or at the time was Midway, was like, hey, you know, you know, we apologize. We, we, we apologize fully for this. Here, have two bonus characters that is not available in any other version of the game. Here, ha have Shao Kahn and Goro. You know, so hey, I mean, I'm not playing the definitive version, the, the better version, but I'm still playing Deception, goddammit. Uh, and I'm gonna be doing the same thing here. Well, actually, maybe not. I do like Bo Raicho because of his fart fatality. And, okay, this may be Scorpion. stupid. That may be stupid, but, uh, you know, playing as Bo Raicho is something my boys want to do in uh, Deception. But here, I'm like, I don't care. Uh, but I tell you, the, the longest time I've wanted to get uh, Deception for one reason and one reason only. And that reason was Bo Raicho's fart fatality. No, I'm not kidding. That's the only reason I wanted to play Deception. Yes, I am completely batshit insane. <laughs> um, but yeah, nowadays I play it not only for, for that, but also because I just... I love Mortal Kombat, and I will always love Mortal Kombat. Now, okay. Now, notice the mechanics here. Yeah, notice the mechanics here. Oh, six, six. You know, how much damage you're doing to your opponent. So L1 and uh, Deadly Alliance, but also switch for weapons and things like that. Now, the way this looks... You will see this again, believe it or not. Um, yeah, Baraka should be fucking dead. Now let me tell you something, in reality, one slash. If we assume that Scorpion's blade is extremely sharp, one slash like that would have hurt him to a larger degree than what would have been shown here. But splashing him twice and then just doing that and knocking him on the ground, he would have been fucking dead from that. And then being tossed around like that, like a goddamn salad. And then, yeah, there is no way. He would, I, I don't care what you fucking say. I don't give a shit what you say. 
you know, that, oh, well, Baraka is this way, that, he's not really a human, you know, so he can survive a lot more. No, it, it doesn't matter. You, being split in half or, you know, just having anything like that would have killed you instantly in reality. And that's why I kind of always like Mortal Kombat, you know, not only for the insane amount of blood that's in this game, but also just the very idea that, you know, these things aren't that realistic because you could, in theory, keep willing on people all day long. Matter of fact, in Deadly Alliance, you can basically take your weapon, uh, like a sword or something, and you can plunge your sword into your opponent and leave it there for the rest of the match. That's the only damage you have to do because they will bleed out. They will fucking bleed out. But, uh, they have way more blood than there needs to be. And I'm going to skip this because I don't care. Um, but this conquest mode is easily my favorite one out of all the Mortal Kombat games. You know, now we have story mode. It's like, oh yeah. You have arrived. Let us begin. You have a long way to go, but every step is a victory. True. How you maneuver in combat plays as much a part of your strategy as how you punch or kick. Yeah, it teaches you the way of the game. Assume that offensiveness is always the correct path to victory. A hasty retreat can give True. you the space you need to plan your next attack. Yeah, except if you're playing online, uh, they don't even give you time to react. <laughs> Trust me, I I don't play online for multiple reasons, but one of them is I'm just not good at Mortal Kombat or any other fighting game online. Like, offline, I'm a goddamn professional, but you put me online. Uh, no, I don't even- I can't even land a single hit before I'm dead in like two seconds. Ah, very good! But yeah, I- You know, yeah, you have like, story mode in like, uh, 9, 10, 11, and things like that. Even, uh, you know, versus DC Universe. But, um, for a while there, uh, on Deadly Alliance, Deception, and Armageddon, you had Conquest Mode. And Conquest Mode was actually pretty good. It taught you the ways of the game, and when Deception came around, and this was way different than Deadly Alliance Conquest, where all you did was practice people's, you know, moves, and get things out of it. Oh, well you practice Scorpion's move, so here, have some coins for the crypt. Um, but in Deception, you actually get to walk around and explore and, 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 and overall just do a lot of shit. And I, I remember watching a long play of this game, and I thought that was just the coolest thing in the whole universe when I saw that. Wait, what was I, what was I supposed to do? Fuck, I wasn't paying attention. Can I return the map for some reason? I don't know why, I just fucking, I'm... Do I block? Was I supposed to block? I don't know. I, was, was I supposed to punch him in the face? Well! You! I saw something, I saw you. I, whatever you were. But yeah, here you get to actually walk around. Oh, you want coin? Fuck you! <laughs> you want some coin? Go walk around and get it. You should. <laughs> I should not. But yeah, there's some coin for you. You should find Apep. I heard he was waiting for you. Fuck Apep. <laughs> yeah, and you get to beat the shit out of everybody here too, if you want. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Peace be with you. Yes. I'm not gonna hurt you. Not like the other guy. I don't, don't worry, he's back up. Don't I don't give a shit. How about you? What do you gotta say? Hello, young man. Are you looking for Master Boraicho? 
am I? You tell me. But yeah, um, just keep going around looking for coin. Uh, and there you go. You have, Oh, by the way, you can also unlock certain things here. I, I said you can unlock... Fuck! I swear, the controls sometimes are not the best. But I'm fine with that. I like this game too much. But... BAM! So, yeah, you unlock a crypt key for Scorpion's alt costume. I think that's the alt costume that was in uh, Mortal Kombat 4, I think. Because for a while they also enjoyed calling back to other titles in the franchise. And you can go into other people's houses and take their gold! Yeah, take their coin. No problem. Who are you? I am practicing ninjutsu, the art of stealth. Watch me disappear. You will never find me. Holy shit! He fucking actually did it. Hold on. I I thought that he was fucking around. But uh yeah. Next thing you know, he's turning into Get back! Where the fuck did you go? Fine, I'll just take whatever this is. Puzzle fighter. Oh yeah. You there. Hello there, young man. Would you like to buy anything? I guess. Got any bacon? Well, fuck you two then. So yeah, me, the mission, the portal, basically it tells you a lot of shit. Uh, and I guess I was supposed to look for some guy. You there. Have you met Apep yet? Fuck you, stupid Apep. I don't know what this Apep fellow is. Okay, I think they're just fucking around at this point. Some random person is just running around and, and leaving coins for us to find. I can do this all day. <laughs> Maybe. Um, but do I really care about finding some stupid kid that thinks he's Naruto? I mean, literally, he's trying to... Who the fuck is that asshole doing? You there. You shall not pass. Okay, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? You shall not pass. Well boom! Just fucking slap me in the goddamn face! None may pass. Okay, I'm going! Fuck! <laughs> you already give me a chance to leave the Punching me so hard, I fly back. What an asshole! Fuck you. I'm just gonna do that to someone, and you can do that as much as you want, to people. If you were smart, young man, you would not venture past the gates. I never have. Oh fuck you! How dare you call me not smart? You there? What do you want, Shujinko? I cannot find my brother. If you find him, tell him I am looking for him. My brother is lazy and needs to do his chores. I am not going to do his chores for him. Okay. Sleeping in the woods. What woods? I have to find some wooded areas and shit. And I'll take that because I need more. And they, it may seem like, oh, well, yeah, they're giving you a whole bunch of coins. You can buy everything in like two seconds. Actually, no, you can't. Uh, there's a lot of shit to unlock in the crypt. In uh, pretty much every Mortal Kombat game. But in Deadly Alliance, Deception, and Armageddon, they fucking went nuts on the amount of shit you need in order to unlock. By the way, you press a certain button and you can change... Uh, you know, the circle button will do this. 
and by meditation you can actually go back and forward through time well not ba back and forward you're literally gonna fucking stay there all day all night no sleep no nothing or are you a different guard there, that, that has to be a different guard because there is no way even in video game logic I refuse to believe that that asshole can stay there all day all night 24 7 like period so, yeah, that was Conquest. You saw a little bit of the gameplay um, and how fighting is and all that good shit. So, um, honestly, I, I think I should move on to the, to the last game. Yeah, this is uh, three games because I... And I'm not going to really play... Uh, what was the other one? I don't know. And I'll talk about chess combat and puzzle combat later. I'll do these at some other time. I don't really feel like doing it right now. But yeah. The last game! Oh, Shell and Monks. Yeah, fucking Shell and Monks. That's what, um... That's what it was called. It's not really a fighting game, it's just a beat em up. But I played that one on the channel. It's in my, uh, one of my compilations of, what was it? Uh, one of my compilations I did recently. Uh, it, it, it wasn't the, uh, almost seven hour video it was something else the other one now I I don't know which one I grew up with more this one or Deadly Alliance because I grew up with this game a lot as a kid when I was able to uh, you know play more Mortal Kombat Now, I like this one probably the best out of, I mean, even though I have a lot of nostalgia for Deadly Alliance and this game, I like this game a lot more. And I'll show you some reasons why. Once I lower the fucking sound, because fuck. It's like Mortal Kombat's trying to be the loudest game ever. And that happened a lot, I think, on the PS2 and GameCube days. Um, but one of these, for a reason, was called Create a Fighter. Now, from here, you can create a fighter, obviously, as it says. And you can basically choose who you want to be. A and it was always fun trying to come up with, um, you know, people from video games or TV shows or whatever. Now, I tried my best. Uh, I try my best to create Monica. And that kind of failed a little bit. But, you know, you only have a certain amount of whatever it is that you have a certain amount of. So, yeah. But you have all of these different, um, Yeah, different whatever. Oh, by the way, high tops. You can have, like, red high tops. And then... Let's see. How blue can you be? Oh, that's not the right shade of blue. Is that? Is it? I don't think it has the right shade of blue. Oh, you can be a fucked up Sonic. <laughs> if you so desire. But, uh... You know, as, as time goes on, you'll be able to you know, whatever, make whoever you want. Biography, Monica. Victory slogan, just Monica. Biography, ooh woo. I don't care. <laughs> I've ran out of ideas at this point. Yeah. 
Yeah. In 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 uh, the poop of the day. That's why I always thought she fucking said. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you know, for a creating a, a fighter, I'd love to see this brought back in another Mortal Kombat game because I mean, think of the possibilities that you could do with that. So yeah, eh, I don't care. Um, but yeah, like I said, as time goes on, you'll be able to do a lot more. Um, but I like this one for two main reasons aside from Creative Fire. Uh, Conquest mode is back with, um, you know, the whole adventuring aspect. You, you can run around, look around, and shit like that. Uh, but this is where the game gets really good. Take a look at this. Every Mortal Kombat character, up until that point when Armageddon came out, uh, this was the uh, most amazing thing. I want to see this brought back again. Uh, make like a Mortal Kombat Armageddon 2, where every character, all the guest characters, new ones, and everybody else from every other Mortal Kombat game ever, uh, you know, exist. Because here, and I think this is one of the, the best Mortal Kombat games ever, for this reason alone, because you have all these people with all these different fighting styles, you have Shao Kahn, you can play as Goro, Kentaro, Onaga, Moloch, and all these other people. Striker, which I think a lot of people forgot about. Uh, Cabal, Dairu. Who the fuck is Jarek? Wait, 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 wait. Wasn't he in Mortal, uh, Mortal Kombat 4? Darius, I don't know. He I always thought Darius was uh, a ripoff of Jax. Wait, where is Jax? Oh, hey, it's right down there. Um, Reiko, I forgot about that guy. Fujin, I think he was four. I don't know, there was some characters from Mortal Kombat 4 that got their start in Mortal Kombat 4, and then they brought him back. Um... Like, I don't remember Su Hao, period. I know he's in Deadly Alliance, but I kind of forgot of him as a character. Shujinko... Eh? Like, yeah, you have all these people. Plus, your character that you choose... I'm gonna be Scorpion again, because I've been Scorpion for the past two games now. Scorpion. Let's go to old classic. Sub Zero. Scorpion vs. Sub Zero. I wonder if you could actually change your preference for. Um. Yeah. Yeah. This is basically... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna say it. You know, as much as I love this game. It's basically Mortal Kombat Deception 2. And that's what it is. It's fucking Mortal Kombat Deception 2. Because they have the same fighting styles. They have the same fighting... Or, you know, in general, the same fighting mechanics. Same moves, everything like that. But the only thing that's really different about this one is the conquest mode, which, yeah, it's still adventuring and, and looking around and, you know, doing shit. But it's different in where you have to go and all, it's basically different locations. Um, and the whole creative fire thing. So there are a few things that are different, but I, I like to think of it as an updated. Uh, deception because I mean they are very similar and I know what you're gonna say oh yeah well every Mortal Kombat game is that way every, you know you, you beat the shit out of each other and that's like you know Street Fighter and Tekken and Soul Calibur and all these other fighting games yeah that is true but 
what I'm basically saying is it's the style of the game. Like, these two games are very similar and are very, you know, different from games like Deadly Alliance or uh, Mortal Kombat 4 or, you know, even newer Mortal Kombat games today, like 10 and 11 and other things like that because, you know, of the way that it was made. I mean, you don't see a Mortal Kombat game anymore with every single playable character that... Even non-playable characters, basically every single character that is in Mortal Kombat, period, is going to be a playable character. Like, that's what we need, again, because we've added so much cooler characters. We, we, we've had Jason, we've had Freddy, uh, we've had Terminator, we've had the Joker, we've had Rambo, uh, Xenomorph, and some, I, I, I think we had Xenomorph. Uh, we had, like, Predator. We had a bunch of cool characters that were new. Not just guest characters, but, like, we had Aaron Black from X and Eleven. He was an amazing character, um, and I see him being a fan favorite for, and him being a p uh, potential candidate for the next game, the next main major title. I ain't talking about this new mobile shit that they're going to be doing, or what, they've, what they're trying to do, um, which I wouldn't mind a Mortal Kombat RPG. That sounds like fun. It's different from the norm. But I have a problem with it being on mobile, because I don't really play a lot of mobile, and if I do, it's like the same few games every day. That's it. I don't really play anything different. And I, I haven't even played the fucking mobile port of Mortal Kombat was it X. Yeah, I think it was X that had a Mortal Kombat thing. By the way, uh... Yeah, still here with no fatalities to learn here. Um, and the same thing here. The Overlord of Darkness. That sounds like fun. Let's try it. Okay, half keto. X left square. Okay. Well, I kind of lied in a way. The way I was saying it was kind of like uh, the Deadly Alliance. I mean, they're, they're all the same game, really, at the end of the day. But this one has two. You're basically half hero and your weapon. I'd love to do a fatality, but I don't care. But yeah, basically, there's a lot of stages here from every Mortal Kombat game as well. So, yeah, now let's take a look at the crypt and see what you can get. Now, again, this was around... Oh, that's not supposed to look like that. Oh, no. Um... But I've always enjoyed looking at, like, combat art or concept art. And... Oh, my God. That is trippy. Okay. Uh, and some media. I used to enjoy this song a lot more than I do now. But it also gives you a little bit of uh, intel. Oh yeah, this song was made by Jim Bonney. And gave his thoughts on it, or her, or her, or her thoughts, or everyone, anyone's thoughts really. I wanted this to sound like it was being played on the springs and gears some giant twisted clockwork. I created this percussion bed first, then decided that this was all the tune really needed. I like it. And it was one of my favorite uh, songs in the entire game. Um, but yeah, you have all of these different 
you know, songs and different things like that. Um, now, I enjoyed, uh, you know, things like this. Where you'd see what the, the crew looks like. You know, um, where you get to take a look and be like, Oh, these are the people that helped make Mortal Kombat possible. You know, I like it. You know, it was pretty fun. Team lead. So you have Ed Boon in there. I don't know the other two. The only two people I know for sure in Mortal Kombat history. Ed Boon and Dan Forden. You know, I, th I think it was Dan Ford, and that's the Toasty guy. You know, the one that says, Toasty! Whenever some... I, I don't know how you trigger that, but it, it happens, and it's a really good thing. So you have people doing the background artist work. You know, I, I wonder how many of these people are still around today doing Mortal Kombat or some other NetherRealm studio game. I know Ed Boon is, because he is basically the face of Mortal Kombat. If it wasn't for him, you know, we wouldn't have whatever. Mortal Kombat Armageddon 2006 E3 banner. Plus, uh, a little bit of Spy Hunter going on in the background there. There's also a Midway title. And very blurry cars and buses. Mortal Kombat banner on the Pico Avenue Bridge at the LA Convention Center for 2006 E3. So yeah, and here you get to see the voices, or hear the voices. <laughs> hey, my name. Fatality. Limerick, imagine having your arms or legs or any of your favorite appendages ripped from your body. Stabbed extreme surprise pain. Extreme horrible, horrible pain. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Don't try this at all. I gotta get out of here! No, no, no! <laughs> All right, launched by the catapult. <laughs> Bong. Yeah, dog. Guttural coughs and retching. This is the one I like to call the big ass fan. Slipping on Barretra's puke. Yummy. <laughs> Outstanding. Well, uh, yeah, it's really fun to take a look and see how these games were made. I wish we'd see more of this. And I know there might be some games out there that they do have, uh, you know, that. But the way I'm seeing it, it's not really that much, you know, nowadays. Uh, so, yeah, you can take a look at some cool things here in the crypt. And that's what I've always enjoyed, and, and in Deadly Alliance, there's this one I really enjoyed that I wish would be a real thing, like an actual TV show. Uh, Cooking with Scorpion. Yeah. Just imagine, you know, Scorpion just slicing and dicing and chopping and doing all the things that he does. Like, that'd be really amazing. I gotta see here. Gameplay. Uh, now, if you find Mortal Kombat too hard for you, or too easy, depending on what you want, you know, I, you know, I like easy, but just for the sake of me being able to win everything. No blood in a Mortal Kombat game, you're a fucking pussy, okay? Now, let me ask you a perfectly good question, and I kind of get why it's there, so... 
parents don't get as upset or whatever the case may be or if you don't like blood but if you don't like blood and you have it turned off anyway in a fucking Mortal Kombat game then why did you buy the game in the first place <laughs> and I know some people they love the game but they you know and they want to still beat the shit out of each other but um, they don't like seeing the blood that's totally fine because I know a few people like that, they're like, yeah, Scorpion. well, I like Mortal Kombat, but I hate seeing all the blood and gore and all that shit. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Which I kind of get to some extent, but at the same time, I'm just like, then why did you buy it then? If you're going to play a game like Mortal Kombat, go all the way. Or if you're going to play a game with no blood, I recommend Tekken, or Street Fighter, or Soul Calibur, they're basically the exact same game. They're all beat the shit out of one another kind of game, you know, they're all fighting games. But Mortal Kombat is for the, the fucking manliest of men, the, the, the womenliest of, of women, the, 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 the cattest of cats, okay, you, you get the idea. Mortal Kombat is a professional game. Not to be taken lightly, even though the, some of the fatalities are hilarious and some of the gore is just overall just off the top crazy shit. You know, it, it's a game that's a lot more serious than games like Street Fighter and Tekken and, and things like that. And it sets itself apart from those other games because of all the blood and gore. And if you remove the blood and gore because you don't want it, then you're just playing a, it's just, just another fighting game anyway. So I'm just like, hey fucking just just if you're gonna play Mortal Kombat at least have a little bit of blood just a, just a little bit okay you don't have to go full-on bloodbath you know bathe naked in, in the blood of your enemies you know you don't have to do that but just a little tiny bit of blood any amount of blood because that is the Mortal Kombat way there ran over for now yeah, for now. Oh, that's not supposed to look like that. <laughs> Fight. Oh, by the way, I also enjoy this. Bullet's button. I forgot the button. What's the button? I know I can take this up. Ah! So yeah, you can pick up weapons along the way. Come on. Come on. Oh, wrong way. Okay, come to me. Come to me. Oh, you can't do that to me. No! Alright. Now watch this. I said watch this! This is an insta-kill right here. That's an insta-kill. It doesn't matter how much it helps. Scorpion wins. Flawless victory. Yeah, it doesn't matter how much health they have. If you do that, they are dead instantly. That is like a fucking insta kill right there. Uh, and not every stage has that, but the ones that do, hell yeah. Round one. Fight. <laughs> That just to fucking fall down again. Fight. Like, yeah. 
I'm just gonna keep this is what I always do. Oh, this is another one I enjoyed. Uh especially in the Wii version. You can create a fatality by pressing random buttons and doing random combinations of things. I don't know if it's in every version. I know it's in the Wii version, and that kind of sets it apart where you could create your own fatality. And I, I like that. I like the ability to do whatever. Now, okay, okay, okay. Here's what I think we need. All right. We have the technology now, right, to make anything possible, especially in VR. Imagine Mortal Kombat, right? But whenever there is a, um, you know, a finish him or finish her, finish them, that sort of thing. We should be able to actually create our own fatalities using, like, you know, uh, VR or with the Kinect or something like that, where we, we basically make a motion like we are grabbing someone's chest and then we're ripping it out, basically ripping them in half. Or we, we, we go for the nuts. We, we, we act like we're grabbing them by the nuts and we rip out their nuts and shove it down their throat. Then, you know, we, we fucking, you know, punch them so hard their fucking heart fault just flies out. And then, you know, you know, for a scorpion, we, we would make the motion of him with the spear, we'd have our hands open and just, boom, get over here, and then just, one last time, just uppercut him so fucking hard his head comes off, or her head comes off. Like, we would be able to create our own fatality with just our own motions. Like, using our arms and legs and body to just create our own fatalities. And that would be fantastic. We have a technology, we could do that shit now. And it, that was sort of like what they were going for on the Wii. Sort of. Which I do like that, don't get me wrong. But it's not what I really have in mind when I say, or when I think of creating a fatality using, like, motion controls. I, I, I think of something like, you know, you're actually using your body, your whole body. Not just your arms and legs. Or maybe you, you could just, you know, open your mouth and just act like you're biting them, you know, pretend to bite them, and then they'll bite the character in the game, and then, you know, rip out their jugular vein, and then just take that and shove it down their fucking goddamn throat, or up their ass, or something like, oh, think of the possibilities, we can make Mortal Kombat way more gruesome than what Ed Boon and the rest of the Mortal Kombat team had in mind, we can be as sadistic as as we want to be. We could be as psychotic as we want to be. And that's what Mortal Kombat really is about. It's being as as brutal and and bloody and gory and just overall amazing as it as we can possibly get. And every game they outdo themselves every single time. Every game that comes out, the fatalities are much more gorier and bloodier and just phenomenal. And I think, you know, we need that where, you know, motion controls, you know, if they make another game for PlayStation, we should have the ability for PlayStation VR. You know, PSVR, right? And in VR, we can do the same thing. You know, kind of take the controllers together and just act like we're ripping out people's chests and hearts and everything like that. And, like, that would be so fucking awesome. I would love that shit. Like, that should be a thing. We could be as sadistic as we fucking want. And we can really design our own fatalities as we see fit. That's what we need. That'd be awesome. One, fight. Round one, fight. Boom! Boom! Okay, yeah, there are some things happening here. Boom! 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 Oh, yeah. Scorpion versus Ermac. Ermac, you're an asshole. Stop using your teleport without your teleportation powers. Your, uh, your, your, your other powers. It's not. Wait, what? Okay. 
What's fun is moving things with your mind. Is it telekinesis? Yeah, stop using your telekinetic powers. <laughs> Fight like a man. Fight. <laughs> Boom. Oh. Like, I spent fucking hours playing this game. Finish him. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try something here. Scorpion that. wins. Fuck. Get over here. Yeah. What he said. I've always thought Mocap was kind of a weird character. Really fun, but really weird at the same time. You know, mocap just, just for some reason. You know, being some guy literally in a mocap suit as a playable character. Like that was pretty fun to see, but at the same time, I I kind of feel like he is a more forgotten character because they never really brought him back. And on top of that, uh, there's just so much better characters out there. One. Fight. Uh, he's got the Liu Kang thing going on there. You know, that's the same move that Liu Kang would use. Yeah, this is another one he can actually do. <laughs> oh. Stop it. Oh. Alright, yeah, this is the one. Alright, so watch this. It's the thing I have to do it right. No! I'm trying! To... Okay, fine, I'm just gonna trigger you to come to me, then. Damn it! No! No! Yeah! Like, this is fucking brutal right there! Like, holy shit! <laughs> ah, we don't need them. Yeah, that's how I'm doing fatalities in this game. So I can't really figure out the actual fatalities. Uh, maybe in, in like... You got the Wii version. Round one. Fight! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! No! Fuck you! Fuck you! Boom! I Scorpion wins. Oh. Yeah, slap that ground. I'm about to teach that ground I'm fucking lesson. That ain't gonna work for you. Boom! 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 I said boom! Hey! No! I'm just gonna do that to you, asshole! <laughs> oh, yes, son of a bitch. Round three. Fight! As it should, it gets harder from here. I like challenge. The AI gets smarter and smarter as you play. Stop hitting me! Stop it! Stop it! 
And now a mouse is taking away my leg. Okay, there is no way that Scorpion's hand should be moving because it got fucking detached. God damn it! <laughs> All right. Uh, actually, no. I'm not gonna continue. As much as I'd love to, I'm, I'm not. I I, I play enough. <laughs> now. I'm just gonna go on the record and say this, I fucking love Mortal Kombat, and, uh, this, this whole video was about to be like, um, you know, talking about Mortal Kombat's 30th anniversary. I still can't believe the fucking franchise has been going strong for 30 fucking years. 30 years of, of blood and gore and overall amazing shit that you see. And I'm really glad it exists, because I, I get to play the best fighting game ever. You know, um, I've played Tekken 7, which has Negan in it, you know, from The Walking Dead. And then I played Soul Calibur 2, which has Link, or other people, depending on what version you bought, uh, or w which version you have. I don't want to say buy, because some people didn't buy it, some people got it from a friend or family member, or something like that, but however you obtained... Uh, the copy of Soul Calibur 2. Even fucking pirating it, I don't give a shit. Um, you know, you had like three different versions of the game, so you had three different characters to play as. That is unique to that version. You know, all the guest characters, I don't really think hold a candle to what Mortal Kombat can do. Mortal Kombat has the Terminator, has the Joker, has uh, fucking fucking goddamn Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees and a bunch of the other characters like slasher people I think they have uh, I think one of them had uh, Leatherface I think I could be wrong about that I don't even know what all they have because I haven't played 10 or 11 in a while I mean well 11 I haven't played in like maybe a month or two so I played it on the Xbox uh, from Game Pass but aside from that, I don't remember what all characters were in 10 or 11. I don't care. I just like playing as any character, really. Um, and I, I like playing as every single character because I, I like to see what their fighting style's like. And then I'm more or less going to pick Scorpion because that's everybody's favorite. I mean, Scorpion's badass. He's basically a fire ninja sent to hell and to whatever and you know his, his whole rivalry with Sub-Zero is a very good plot point and the fact he's got that spear and that legendary get over here and the fact that you know everything about him is just awesome you know Scorpion is easily the best character in the franchise hands down you know it's amazing and it's amazing to think that such a concept from Mortal Kombat came by one man, one fucking man, Ed Boon. You know, he made Mortal Kombat the way it is now. A phenomenal experience that anybody can enjoy. Even if you are too young to be playing it, I don't care. If you are a fucking two-year-old or three-year-old, play Mortal Kombat, okay? Fucking play this game. I don't care. You will get used to all the blood and gore. Don't worry. And, and, and if your parents say otherwise, fuck your parents. They don't know shit. Okay? They don't know the first thing about awesome shit. Okay? You know, that, that age rating that's on the box? That's just a fucking, you know, that's just a, uh, a, a recommendation. It's not like, oh, I have to be 18 to play this game. No, you fucking don't. No, you do not. If you find a game like Call of Duty, or Grand Theft Auto, or Mortal Kombat, or any other game that's amazing, you know, and you get turned away because of the age, fuck the age rating, you know? We don't really need that shit, and I'll save that for another day, I'll save that rant for another day, but just know this. 
I think everybody should have a chance to play Mortal Kombat at least once in their life. It is just that good. It was a, it's a really good game. Good franchise, and even the older games hold up pretty well. Oh, you know, the arcade games, uh, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, 3, and 4, those games hold up extremely well. And you can play them by other means as well, like a Genesis port or Super Nintendo or whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah, play Mortal Kombat. It's awesome. And, uh, you know, happy 30th anniversary to Mortal Kombat. It's fucking amazing to see this game still going strong 30 years later. Anyways, guys and girls, that's it for this video. It's not as long as some other ones I've done. Uh, it's still going to be edited, though, because I have to edit it. I don't want to fucking make three parts to a video I could easily do one part on. I mean, come on. Um, but yeah. And um, as always, I will see you all in the next video. I'll be playing more uh, Mortal Kombat in the future. Just not right now. So I have some other games to play. And I gotta... You know... Get those done. And... Play some other games. And all that good shit. Um, and as always... I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, people. And bro hoof. Meow. Also, uh, I forgot to, to do this. I'll probably edit it in later. But, uh... Mortal Kombat!